Well, it's, it's sort of too bad what happened with the music industry. But I wouldn't write them off forever. Maybe it comes back in some other incarnation. I, I certainly hope so. The, the, the odd thing is more people are listening to music and more different kinds of music than ever before in history, but less people are making money on it. Um, I think that the entertainment industry is, uh, is going to always be one of America's great exports. I mean, we're better at it than anybody. Um, and the market for that type of uh, product uh, is increasing, although a lot of countries are developing their own indigenous sort of popular culture, television, film industries. But it still bodes really well for America. The, the uh, film industry just had their biggest year. You could say, well, the films are increasingly about, uh, you know, franchise, big pictures, and that was bringing the big bucks, the avatars, 3D. But I think there's a really a, uh, still a small, vital, independent film scene going on. There's jobs available in Hollywood. There's always going to be, uh, it's very competitive. Uh, the television industry, when I started, there was, you know, six, seven, eight, ten networks. Now there's, you know, 500. All of them have staffs. Uh, new people are starting out in the television business all the time. In a sense, I think some of the most interesting uh, entertainment programming of this era is actually happening on television rather than in films. If you think about the kind of things like, you know, Mad Men, things like HBO, Breaking Bad, I mean, fantastically interesting program that wouldn't have been there 10 years ago. And 10 years from now, Lord knows what. So I'm still a big believer in, uh, in, in TV and film as career choices. Uh, there's an there's a insatiable appetite for people who are good and creative and can market things correctly. So, and m maybe the music industry comes back. They just have to figure out a way to make a little money. <laughs>